A dramatic drive downtown. As you can see from this video from Sky 5, a construction site turned into an emergency scene after a building collapsed right into the path of a moving vehicle. Kimberly Nichols was driving her catering truck down to Mumbrian when the wall fell. News Channel 5 Shannon Royster has been following this story all day for us. Shannon, how is Ms. Nichols? Well, Vicki, first off, work has started back up again behind me, so I'm going to step out of the way so that you can get a good idea of what I see here behind me. It is a very active scene here. Construction crews are behind the building with the crane working to demolish what is left of the building. And just up the street here, you may not be able to see this. They are removing blockades from the sidewalk that were once blocked off. Now, as far as that driver, she is still at Vanderbilt. Her family tells me that sh they are just thankful that she is alive because by the looks of what happened here this morning, it could have been deadly. Shortly before 9.30 Thursday morning, a demolition project at 10th and Demumbrium went horribly wrong. We got the call in as a building collapse. We got here, this wall's out. The old Methodist publishing house came crashing down into the street and on top of a Kimberly's catering truck, driven by 58-year-old Kimberly Ellen Nichols of Hermitage. It doesn't appear to be serious. She is conscious, talking to us. The collapse left a huge gaping hole in the side of the building, sending flying debris everywhere. Police and fire crews were there by the dozens, as well as motorists who stopped to see the damage. I drive by here every day as well, and uh, you know, it kind of surprises me that, that this happened. Demo Plus had been tearing down this building for weeks now. They've been trying to clean this building onto the uh, property, not onto the street. And uh, somehow this morning, uh, the methodology caused the building to come onto the street. Bricks from that vacant building also snapped power lines, leaving over 1,600 without power. This busy thoroughfare was immediately shut down for the night. We've turned it over to the police and then the demolition crew. It's going to be a while because they got to clear the road, but they also got to make sure that the, the rest of the wall is safe. A non-aggressive police dog was brought in to make sure no one was trapped underneath the rubble. Fortunately, the sidewalk had been closed from the beginning of the project, so that surge turned up nothing. Now thoughts turn to the investigation and a speedy recovery for Nichols. Now we reached out to Demo Plus Incorporated and received this statement from its president, Stephen D. Klein. He says, quote, we are thoroughly assessing the situation and working with local authorities to fully understand today's isolated incident. Our immediate concern is for the well-being of the injured party and her recovery. Now, Nichols will remain in the hospital overnight. She is in stable condition. As you can see, that investigation into how and why this happened continues, as well as the work. They brought out the yellow tape, and these workers, I'm told, should be here until 3 in the morning, so a lot left to be done. For now, we're reporting live from downtown Nashville. I'm Shannon Royster, News Channel 5. Shannon, thank you. With the construction and demolition boom in Nashville, this is not the first time for this type of accident. You may remember in April of last year, a portion of a 120-year-old building being torn down at Broadway and 3rd Avenue fell. The bricks ended up damaging the neighboring storefront of the Savannah Candy Kitchen. PSG Construction Company was the demolition crew for that worksite. No one was hurt in that collapse.